Paul Foster Bell. Mr. Speaker, I stand to relieve members' ears from the previous peroration and also to speak strongly in favour of this excellent bill, the Education Amendment Bill No. 2. Sir, I can agree with the previous member on one account and one account only that this is about the students more than it is about teachers. This is about ensuring that New Zealand children can achieve among the very best in the world, that every child uh, going through our educational system has an opportunity to succeed in life. And I'm proud to stand by our excellent Minister of Education, the Honourable Hekia Parata, and the Honourable Stephen Joyce, the Minister of Tertiary Education, in supporting this legislation. So I would like to refer to a couple of remarks made by the Honourable Member Calvin Davis. Um, who I have respect for as a former practitioner in this profession. But just to correct perhaps a misunderstanding that Mr Davis might have around an argument that he was making that it's difficult to audit different systems. And of course that is, sir, a ludicrous argument given Audit New Zealand can up and down this country audit DHBs, local government, central government, departments and ministries, crown entities, SOEs and companies, all of which have different accounting systems, all of which do very different kinds of business in this country. And auditing is about ensuring the uh, approach is taken through their processes is correct, that they are following their own processes. It's not about going around dictating and determining what the outcome should be and how schools should run themselves. So that's just to correct that misunderstanding. Sir, one other point. Um, he talked about uh, a maximum of five teachers being permitted under the bill. Of course, um, that was the original draft, which has been uh, amended to, to make it a uh, no minimum, in fact, of uh, no maximum of teachers, but a minimum number of teachers. So I think that's a positive change to the bill. Um, but it is an important principle that people are appointed to this body on merit rather than representing uh, different interests within the community. I commend this bill to the House. Now this is a split call between